Hello, this is a recap of part 16 and 17 of our ongoing code series, creating a website from scratch with Python, Django, and Wagtail CMS. This code series has been hosted on CodeBuddies.org. CodeBuddies is a global community of code learners who help each other through conversations on Slack and peer-to-peer -peer organized study groups and virtual hangouts. There's a lot of different ways to get involved with the CodeBuddies community, the Slack channel, community forum, the CodeBuddies.org platform is open source on GitHub. You can follow us on Medium and YouTube. The project we're building is written in the Python language with the Django web framework and the Wagtail content management system. It's a website for the nonprofit organization Western Friend. Western Friend is the official publication of Quakers in Pacific, North Pacific, and Intermountain Yearly Meetings. Those are large gatherings in the Western United States. The task we're working on is to build uh, an author model and link it to the magazine article so that magazine articles can have authors. Uh, we're, we're pretty close to being done with this. Um, today we added uh, some modifications uh, to the way we had it, uh, implemented in the last live stream. Um, reorganized the author by field, moved the authors into their own app because I realized that the authors were not just for magazine articles, but also uh, put, um, we have a, a media library that we'll be implementing, sorry for the uh, <laughs> confusion, brain fart there, but we will need to have the authors as their own app so that it can span those two basically tables. Um, and what's it, what else did we change? Ah, oh, we added a slug to the author field. So let's take a look at how it works. If we look at an issue, uh, we've got one article in this issue. I've had to reset the database a couple of times. And when I look at the article on children for the, it's the editorial for the on children issue, we now show the authors of that article with links to their author page. And that author page uses a slug field. So this is a, a pretty good improvement, I think, over the way we're handling it. If I recall on this Drupal side, no, it's basically the same author, Mary Klein. Authors, Mary Klein. I'll have to think about whether or not it should be plural. From the Django, the, the examples in the Django docs, uh, they were tending to use plural uh, URL names. It might be easier for us to not have to make a bunch of sort of redirects if I make it singular. That's a decision we'll have to make. Uh, in an upcoming uh, meeting with Mary Klein, the editor. And as you see, there's nothing else displayed on this page right now. I just am displaying the author's um, kind of string representation. We're going to, in the next series, uh, add the articles for that author, kind of like what you see here. These are all the, uh, the articles that Mary Klein has published on Western Friend. Okay, let's jump into the code real quick. Um, so the first thing is we're in the magazine models right now, and I had been writing the code as another model under magazine. Fortunately, I had given that model, I named the database table author, so it wasn't namespace. Uh, I had, had a little bit of cleanup to do with the migrations, but in any case, now we're pointing from the authored by field to the author app, author model. Way to do that in two places, both in the field for the parental many-to-many -many relationship and by the way, author, uh, each author will have an articles list, so I believe we'll be able to populate this by saying for article and articles. But we'll, we'll have to check that out next time. Um, and then for the autocomplete field to work, we also just needed to update what table um, it should allow this page type. By default, it would allow any wagtail page model to be populated in the autocomplete field. Uh, we just want authors to show up there. And this is mostly from last... Um, last, uh, like, what is it, session 14, something like that, 15. Okay, so that's the, uh, let's take a look at the author model. So what we, all we changed here, aside from moving it to its own app, is now we added a slug field. And Django has an inbuilt slug field, but it doesn't have any sort of validation. It'll allow uh, multiple, well, multiple, I guess, instances, multiple rows to have the same slug. Um, so we actually turned to a contrib module 
called Django Extensions, and I don't know a whole lot about it, but it's up to date. It's uh, so it seems well maintained. It comes with a lot of different things, um, and one of which was a way to visualize our collection. So I hope to explore this Django Extensions uh, a little bit deep, more deeply in f upcoming um, lab code sessions. Uh, so one of the things it does is validate uniqueness of these slugs and you specify the, the fields that it should be populated from. We wanted to make a slug for, of the author's first and given name, or given name and family name, sorry. Um, they could have multiple given names or any you know, combination or not have a family name. I didn't test that scenario. So we'll have to come back to that. Hopefully there's not a bug already. Uh, next thing we did was create a view basically for showing the author detail. Um, de defaulting to class-based views as is the advice of two scoops of Django, the authors of that book say, if you can do it with a class-based view, start there. Uh, Function-based views are nice for their simplicity, but they should be reserved for maybe times when you can't do it with a class-based view. So you just, in a class-based view, I'm inheriting from the detail view, because I'm showing the detail this one author, so our model, model is authors, and I, I went ahead and defined this get context da data, even though we're not doing anything with it yet. And I actually might not need to do anything with it now that I think about it. I, since we have the author dot articles, I might be able to get those articles in this list without having to do any fancy stuff. So this might be unnecessary. The next thing to do was define URL patterns. Now, the whole time we've been doing this app, we've been in, in kind of wagtail territory. And this is the first time I've had to touch a URLs pie or a views pie uh, in this project because the other models have been defined on wagtail page model. And so that stuff's handled for us automatically. But in any case, we're using the Django 2.0 path uh, function. And this is saying the data type is going to be a slug. So it's like a hyphenated alphanumeric string or something like that. Um, and the field, or the what would be called the, I guess, the template variable, with, um, our parameter would be the slug of this um, user for the lookup. So this comes in as a slug data type. It's called slug. Uh, and then we pass it to the author detail as view, and give it the name author detail. So we already looked at the view. And for the author detail, we just extend the base HTML and simply displayed the string representation of the author. So that was pretty straightforward and remarkable how well things work when they are, when you're just like aligned with the way the framework already works. So the last thing, and I thought I had opened that, but on the magazine, let me double check here. Oh, here we are. On the magazine article, we just added a link to the author detail that named URL, author detail here, uh, passing in the author slug, and use this string representation of the author for the link. That was all we had to change here, and I think I've already covered this. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, not a lot of code changes were necessary to get this wired up. Uh, the main thing was just kind of reading through the docs, seeing how things work, looking at some examples, and a little bit of wrestling with migrations, but compared to the previous uh, like session a couple days ago, this was a cakewalk, and I have a like much more kind of inspired and uh, elevated uh, feeling after walking away from this one. So again, this has been a Code Buddies hangout, and uh, we really uh, are we're a community nonprofit organization. So we'll hopefully see you around. Okay, we'll have a great day.